Hey guys, so I'm finally doing my first video upload for God is Not Great. Um, I must say that I was very, um, let's say, unenthused to begin this book because it is not necessarily what I, material that I would want to read, um, especially with it, the title being God is Not Great because I am a religious person. And for something like this to be something I'm required to read, it's just, I'm not very excited about it. But, on the other hand, I'm excited to see what um, an atheist point of view is, and why they think the way that they do. So, my first point is going to be um, relational. And on page three... He says, why if God was the creator of all things, were we supposed to praise him so incessantly for doing what came to him naturally? Um, and this is relational for me because even though I am a believer, I'm not like a super strong religious person. So why, in my opinion, um, my love for Jesus is there. But why should I have to constantly remind myself or him of it? Um, if if this was something, again, like the author is saying, that is just what comes to him and what we should know, then praising him for it and thanking him for it, yeah, it's necessary, but I guess ne like feeling like it's something that you absolutely have to do all the time, um, that I would agree with him in that aspect. Um... My next point is going to be on page, sorry, I'm trying to find it, um, page six, and it's going to be a challenge, and it's where he says, there is no need for us to gather every day or every seven days or any high in auspicious day to proclaim our rectitude or to grovel and wallow in our own unworthiness. Um, to me, that's a very negative way of looking at it. It's not that we feel that we need to go. It's the feeling of wanting to and then wallowing in your unworthiness. It's not what it's about either. It's about, I guess, for me, more of like your morals and wanting to create a new week for yourself. Going to church is a part of just letting go of things in your past week, past month, past life, and um, letting them go, telling them to God, and hoping for more of a understanding of what has happened. Not that you're feeling unworthy of this life, or that you feel that you know you were you did something bad, and now you're just this at the low of the totem pole, basically. Like it's that's not what it's about whatsoever. Um, and my final point is on page two and it's going to be a diagnostic and it's when he's talking about his teacher saying so you see children how powerful and generous God is he had made all the trees and grass to be green which is exactly the color that is most restful to our eyes imagine if said the vegetation was all purple or orange how awful that would be and to me, it's diagnostic because I think this is when he had a turning point in his religious view because he was like, no, like things, they were created green naturally. It wasn't just because God was trying to do something good for us. Um, so I think that was his, the turning point as for him as a child in becoming an atheist rather than um, being religious because he had started developing his own ways of thinking and his teacher, in a way, was kind of taking away the children's ability of thinking on their own. So, I think that that's my opinion, and my next video will be up soon.